So now that we've done creating this terrain inside of ZBrush, that it's completely done inside of ZBrush with this uh, plugin, um, we're going to try to make a splat map and also a color map out of it. Just it's very it's pretty simple, and this map is quite detailed and big. It's two two thousand forty eight, I think. So in order to do that, we need to create four different maps. The first one is going to be the slope map. Slope map will have like higher values for the most slope, or the higher slopes, I would say. The next map will be created as a wet map. That is, would be like a, uh, rain is falling and accumulating in different places. Uh, so where it's more wet, this is a good way to distribute different materials. And I, I think it works pretty well. And you can try different settings, will give you very different results. Um, with the end map, um, the droplets number uh, determine the quality of it. And I call it uh, end map because it uh, resembles uh, end trails and it works similarly. And it's just another kind of flow map. And finally, I'm going to create the cavity maps. And this is going to create three different. Um, uh, maps or alphas. One will be representing the the places that are more occlude, occluded, and other are the opposite, more saliency places, and the other will be like a combination of, of both. And so, I'm gonna use that one for, uh, finally for my uh, splat map. So now that I've done uh, these four channels, I'm ready to to create the splat map. And to do that, I need to assign each different uh, map to a different channel. Um, the first one is going to be like a slope. I'm going to put it inside of the alpha channel. And the next one, the wet map. And I think I'm going to put it in the um, blue, I think. This is not a rule. You can do whatever, but be consistent and know what you're doing. Um, the, the add map, I'm going to put it in the green channel and finally this saliency map I'm gonna put it in the red channel and I'm ready to export my my splat map so choose the folder and name fill uh, name that you like and save it and we're pretty much done in ZBrush I'm ready to move to Photoshop in Photoshop just open that file that you just created, splat map, uh, so we can take a look of, uh, of it. And immediately you can see there's maybe too much blue, but uh, I mean, this is really up to you. And there's not an easy way to know how this map is going to be applied to these colors, in my opinion. So you can tweak these channels, uh, tweaking the levels, but even better, I'm going to use this action that is going to move the channels to different masks. Uh, in another file, and each of these channels is masking a different layer, representing a different material. So it's more, it's easier to visualize how. And this is already a color map, so we created the color map. I didn't even do much of a work. So you can tweak the colors, you can change the colors, or the, the colors that work for you just totally removed. I actually like that one without the green one. I think it really looked better. You can change the opacity or whatever. But what you, what you want to do really, what is really helpful is to tweak the levels of these masks so you can determine exactly um, uh, where the, this material is going to be applied inside of your terrain. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And I'm going to do the same for for this gray material that it's uh, representing the most the higher slopes. Um, I think already it already look good, but just to show you that you can do it, just just to play with it, play with the levels, and know that you can do that. There's no mystery mystery here, just playing with the levels. Um, and also, I'm gonna do the same for the other one because I think the um, 
the one for the river bed or the river valleys, this ant map that I was talking about is not showing too much. So um, can I do that? I think this is, this is the, the more intense green. And can I shrink it so it's show, it shows more? So this is very simple, and you can you know, tweak in with a visual. I think it's easier to visualize with these colors than the red or black or the channels. But as we, I'm creating the the color map, and now I can do the reverse process and put each of these uh, masks in the different channels of the splat map. And I also made an action for that. So it just like take these different mask and put them in a splat map that, and we're done. We we created a splat map in ZBrush and tweak it inside of uh, uh, Photoshop so it looks however we want it. You can see now the, the green uh, material is showing a lot more and uh, it's not so blue 